We're back, it's 2022 at the State Fair of Texas, and I've already got my corny dog, and we're gonna be here all day. We're gonna get the top five savories, and well, obviously the winner, and the winner of the sweet category. So we'll be here all day drinking. I'm gonna show you where all the cheap beer is, and I'm gonna show you all the best food. Let's get this started. Mmm, God, I love these corny dogs. These are the best things in the world, and you can only get them at the State Fair. Well, that's not true. They do have pop-ups, but they're just not the same. These are the best. It's the first thing I always get at the State Fair. Let's get to it. We are gonna start off the fair this year. We're just, we're just gonna start with the winner of Best Savory, the fried charcuterie, char I practice saying this, charcuterie board. Like cooties, right? Fried charcuterie board. I got it, right, right, I got it. Now, inside this little fried charcuterie is mozzarella, salami, green apples, Green apples are in here? Really? It comes with olives, that's pretty cool. And it's tossed in olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and Italian herb, deep fried to a golden crisp. Now we're gonna check this out. Look at that, they're kinda small, about 16 tickets, but. Mm. Oh my God. The apple. You can taste the salami, you can taste the mozzarella, but the apples, holy man, that, these apples are insane. That was really good. Oh my god! It is definitely original. It is definitely. I don't think it would. I don't think it would be any good if it didn't have the apples. I think the apples just set it off. You can see the apples. You can see the salami. It's got the mozzarella right there on top. This is actually pretty good. I was kind of thinking. I was like, well, not charcuterie, 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 something like that. I didn't know what it was going to be, but it's actually pretty good. I actually like it. Small, not very hearty. Mmm, with the honey on top. That is really good. You can give me an olive here. Mmm, mm. ooh, that's salty. Mmm, that does it in right there. There you go. That's the winner. That's this year's winner. That's what we're starting with today. We got plenty of more food coming up. Here we go. Now, another one of our finalists is the Holy Biscuit, and I'm here in the, apparently the loading dock out back, but it's so loud in the food court that you can't hear. And apparently it's really loud on the floating dock too. I don't know if any of that's works. So the Holy Biscuit, it's a new stand this year, and they've got a ton of different biscuits. I mean, they've got a, a, a fat Elvis with some peanut butter on it. They've got a cheesesteak one. They've got everything. They've even got Jack and Cola, frozen Jack and Cola, and a smoky bacon margarita. I don't know, man, I, I, it sounds good, doesn't it? So on the sandwich we have shredded brisket, we have a street corn queso, we have uh, pickle fries and uh, uh, honey and bacon. Somewhere on here there's bacon, I don't know. We're gonna find out right now. Look at this thing, it's, holy smoke. Now this is 15 tickets, but it is huge. Look at that, oh yeah. You're gonna need a fork with this one. Oh my, my biscuit is falling apart. Oh, I can't even get in here. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, so the brisket is okay. It's not bad. But that street corn salt queso? Street corn queso? What is street corn queso? I don't even know. It is really good. I'm pretty sure they didn't put bacon on here. Uh, but the honey sauce is really good. Man, this is really good too. This is hearty too, man. This is actually, 15 tickets, but I mean, there's a lot of food here. And you know, you don't get a lot of food for 15 tickets at the fair, right? But I highly recommend this. This is a good one. This is definitely good. You should come get this one. This is peanut butter paradise. Yeah. Have you had it yet? I have not had it yet. Well, you know, 
We're about to though. We are on. We're with Channel Five. I can tell by your shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, and we're focusing on that. Oh, are you really? That is our little mission today. You know. Oh yeah. Who are you guys with? And that thing looks pretty incredibly decadent. It does. Right. Right. This is the first thing you're. Caramel in there. Mm. Okay, I can see why it won, for sure. This is really good. Yeah, and you haven't gotten to the candy yet. Oh, I know. They got Reese's, Reese's Pieces candy. on here. They got some peanut butter cup. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. oh my god. I might have to finish this whole thing. I mean, I don't know. I don't usually eat them all, but this one I might have to. And it's even got an umbrella. Look at that. I'm gonna have one more bite. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Okay. I can see why this one. This is the peanut butter paradise. This is a deep fried honey bun injected with caramel and topped with peanut butter and Reese's pieces and Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh. Oh my god. This is insane. Mm. I can totally see why this one, this is a must have this year at the fair, for sure. I don't know how much of that you got, but Channel 5 was trying to film me while we were filming, so that was kind of cool. So hopefully we'll be on Channel 5 tonight, or I don't know, they probably won't even use the footage, but if they do, that'd be pretty cool. And I gotta tell you, just re say this is phenomenal. This is one of the best sweets I think I've ever had at the state fair. It is so over the top. It is so much the peanut butter on here is insane. Even the candies on top, like I could do without the candies on top, man. This deep fried honey bun, oh, that's where they had me. When I read that, when the list of finalists came out and I saw deep fried honey bun, I'm like, I am getting that, no doubt. Get this for sure. Another savory finalist is the Deep Fried BLT. Now this is bacon folded into a 12 inch tortilla and deep fried with cheddar cheese to hold it all together. It took a while to get it, so hopefully good things come to those who wait. God, that's actually a huge sandwich, look at that. 15 tickets, but it is jack full. I lost the tomato. Mm. Oh my God. The bacon is literally in the tortilla. Oh my god, this thing is jack full of bacon too. Oh man, but just like it sounds, it's a BLT with cheese. Does that make it a BLTC? Maybe a BCLT? I don't know. Either way, this is actually pretty good. I wasn't looking forward to this, but this is a really good sandwich, man. It's got a ton of bacon on here, and I love the cheese. It's really hard to eat, so I would suggest finding a seat to eat it. And it comes out piping hot. Definitely a big thumbs up on this. I see why it's a finalist. I'm gonna finish eating this and then uh, move on to the next one, I guess. And I don't even know how many more I gotta go. I'm not getting full yet. So don't worry, we got more to eat coming up.
welcome to the State Fair of Texas. Next up, the deep fried lasagna roll. Now, this is out of the same booth that did the gumbo balls last year, and they were they were the winner, and they were awesome. So I have high expectations for this too. Uh, it is like four kinds of cheeses, lasagna rolled up, deep fried. I mean, what more could you possibly want? Looks like there's some fried mozzarella right here. Okay, that's an ugly bite, but damn, look at that. That is lasagna, straight up. Oh. Hold up, hold up. Ooh, look at this, look at this. Mm. Mm. You know what this is? This lasagna is excellent. I mean, the meat flavor and the pasta and the sauce and the cheese, but then you get the crunch of the deep fried. Oh my God, this is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Now here's a little fried mozzarella. Let's dip them in their marinara. Oh my God, this lasagna is to die for. This is 20 tickets. This is a huge portion as you can see right here. I mean this is a meal right here. This is excellent. Mm. There's so many good foods at the fair this year. Wow. This, the BLT, oh. I'm going to have a hard time picking a favorite. But don't worry. I will pick a favorite at the end of this video. That I can assure you. But if you come to the fair this year, dude, Get this, I promise you, this is solid. If you like lasagna, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love that crunchy, deep fried texture. Oh, just the bomb. The last food item that I'm eating today is the Chicharron Explosion Nachos. Look at the size of this mess. I mean, dude, these are insane. These aren't chips. What are these? Like, are these pork rinds? Mmm. Oh my God. The Chicharron is awesome. And the cheese and the pork rind. Oh, it's so crunchy and yummy. Look at this. Big old chunks of beef in there. Mm. Oh wow. I'm glad I waited till the last one to eat this. I am full, but I will make room for insane nachos with pork rind. Ah. Mmm. Now this is the most expensive item on the whole thing today. There's 24 tickets. But look at it in all its glory. Oh. The pork rind, they get soggy with the cheese, and they're even better. <laughs> oh, this is insane, man. Look at that sour cream, all this chicharron. Ah, oh, what a great year for Strude at the State Fair. I tell you what, every year I come here, and every year I get the finalists, and every year there's maybe three that I really like and two that are meh. But this year, God, I think almost every single one of them was good. I'm gonna have to make a decision on which one I think is the best. But before I do that, I'm gonna finish these nachos. Mm. Mm. These are insane. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's glorious. Mm. Mm. Big thumbs up on this one. Ticket Cheap Beer. That's right, the beer barn right here in the plaza out front of the Cotton Bowl. This is one of the cheapest beers you're gonna find. Four tickets for a Lone Star. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Brian, it's a Lone Star. Hey, it's draft beer, it all tastes the same. Miller Lite, Coors, whatever. Who cares, man? Lone Star worked. 
And for four tickets, you can't find a cheaper beer out here. So the other four ticket beer stand is right behind me. It used to be six coupon beers. I think that's like actually their, their, their legal name still. But it's four tickets now that they're a buck a ticket. So hey, inflation, it's a Lone Star. It's right here on the Midway, right behind the kids area. If you can find the Green Dragon, right behind the Green Dragon, four ticket beers. Again, you can't beat that right. Cheers. Now I know everybody doesn't like cheap beer. I never, I'm a big fan of craft beer also. So they got a lot of craft beer out here. Uh, you're gonna pay for it for a premium craft beer. It's about 16 tickets. That's a lot, it's the same amount of beer. It's a lot higher alcohol. But four tickets, 16 tickets. Well, I had to get a Velvet Hammer just to show you because they got Petacolas, they've got uh, Tuck, they've got Texas Sale products. They even have 100 million angels singing over here. Uh, and community and basically all your favorite Dallas breweries are here. So if you prefer the craft beer, cheers to you. Gotta love that velvet hammer. There you go, that's it for the State Fair of Texas 2022. Out of the top five nachos, I gotta say that the chicharron nachos were awesome. Very unique with those uh, pork rinds of chips. The holy biscuit I think was really good. It just wasn't well executed. I didn't have bacon on mine. So I think if it would have been executed properly, it definitely would have competed for the top spot. Fried charcuterie was really good. Um, value for dollar though, they were really small and there wasn't a lot to eat, so I can't really go that way. And I gotta tell you that lasagna was so good. It just didn't feel like a state fair food to me. So my overall winner today, my overall favorite, was the deep fried BLT. That thing was chock full of bacon and flavor and, and it just felt like a fair food to me and that's the one I like the most. So, hey, let me know what you get when you go to the state fair. Let me know which one's your favorite one. And if you go, stay safe and have a good time. And we'll see you next year. This is it, Brick Eats out. Thanks for watching, have a great day.